Big questions on your ballot next week if you live in certain parts of Elkhart County. And donors are spending money to get out the message for three school referendums. WSBT's Kelly Stopsinski is taking a closer look at money spent to get out the vote and what it all means for you and your kids. Jennifer, Elkhart Community Schools trying to pass two referendums for safety and for transportation upgrades. Concord Schools asking to raise your property taxes so it doesn't have to keep making cuts. But educating voters about what it all means and convincing them to get to the polls hasn't been easy. Yes, for Elkhart, signs and messages are everywhere. I haven't heard about it at all. John Tague lives and works in Elkhart and says he had no idea two referendums are on Tuesday's ballot. We pretty well have uh, watched that, read about it in the paper, but uh, not paying full attention because it's not in the top of our list. So far, the district's political action committee says it's spent about $25,000 on advertising, including radio and TV ads to try and get voters' attention. So I've encountered that myself going door to door and knocking on a door and uh, you think you're doing a good job in communicating and you know you just got to work that much harder. The 25 member committee charged with raising money to get the word out about these referenda says it talked with other local politicians, people who have run campaigns before and told it what it needed to do to raise money and get the word out. It also told them don't be disappointed if people don't show up to the polls. This is a primary and that's what happens. Superintendent Robert Hayworth says the district's lost millions of dollars since 2008 because of property tax caps. It already cut more than 20 buses from its fleet, forcing some students to walk up to two miles to get to class. Others ride a bus more than an hour each way. So one referendum is asking for money to take care of that. The other asking for money to make buildings safer. We're going to work all the way through uh, to Election Day and on Election Day just trying to reach one more person that hasn't heard the story of why our children need this. They're definitely worth this. Elkhart Schools asking for more than $47 million over the next 26 years. Concord asking taxpayers for $28 million over the next seven years. The Concord superintendent told me he's already cut staff, making class sizes larger. They're also not making necessary upgrades. That They used to replace computers every five years. Now it's more like every eight or ten years. Wow. And Tuesday will be the first time Elkhart County's used these vote centers, too. And that should be very interesting. It used to have 117 precincts, and we all know how that works. Right. You can only go to the one. Now it has 25 vote centers, so anyone in the county can vote at any of those at any time. Mm -hmm. We have a link on our website. Go to WSBT.com. At the, at the top, there's a bar. It says Seen on 22. Then click News Links. I'll also put it in my story. Again, though, only in Elkhart County. We don't right. want voters in our other yeah, counties to right. think that. And it should be more convenient, they hope. That's what they say. Right, Kelly, thanks so much. Uh -huh.